Well, hello, everybody, and I hope you're enjoying this wonderful uh, weekend with our good friends, BRM Magazine, World of Railways, but on this occasion, also our colleagues at their sister magazine, Garden Rail. Um, we're now moving into the spring, heading towards summer, and that's when many people's thoughts move from their indoor layout to the opportunities that the garden presents. It's my pleasure today to be talking to the two owners of the Glebe Valley Railway, which is the feature layout in the April edition of Garden Rail, Mark and Donna Mitchell. Hello, how are you? Hello. Hello there. Hi there. Not too bad. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I've had a sneak preview of the article, and I think it's absolutely fantastic. How long have you been actually involved with Garden Railways? Only about two years, two, mm. just over two years now, yeah. Really? Not so from long. a standing start, you've actually built the Glebe Valley Railway in two years? Yes. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> I why? think last year helped, really. <laughs> <laughs> so COVID. why? What was the driver? What, what persuaded you to take your railway into the back garden? Um, I've always wanted the live steam engine, really. That was the main reason. Uh, and so obviously that's got to go outside. Um, and that's... Really got started. I mean, I bought the, the train first <laughs> before I did the, the garden railway. So yeah, the train came first and then started doing the layout afterwards, really. Well, I noticed you made your own roundhouse products. I know from personal experience in Scotland, they're fairly indestructible. How do you find their locos? Oh, absolutely brilliant. They're so easy to operate, really. Um, even a novice uh, like me, when I started, it was it was quite easy to, to operate them, really. But even now, they're after they sort of bed themselves in, they're really easy to uh, to work with and they're a joy to, to use. Yeah, brilliant. When we bought the first one there, we just started in a circle going around the back garden. Yeah. It was just... <laughs> yeah, because I, mean, I bought the, the, the engine, as I say, and then bought a bit of track and then just used it for a bit and then sort of planted the layout afterwards, yeah. really. But yeah, I mean, that's a, it was a joy to use and, and, and it's still his name. And Dan was really nice. He, he, I think he encourages, encourages you to buy more where we got them from. Yeah, I mean, we uh, went back again to as them. I say, I bought yeah. Billy, which is a fully ready controlled um, uh, roundhouse steam engine. And then, um, uh, and then went and bought a, a basic one afterwards. <laughs> I enjoyed it so much. Yeah. Um, so now I believe you've got Billy, you've got Jenny, and of course, everybody's favourite, little John. John, yeah. <laughs> Electric one just to go around. But there's no yeah. electricity on the track, is it? The entire track is dead. No, it's, it's all dead, yeah. Obviously, the little John being the battery operated. But um, you, you've got to have one, I think, just to go around and check the, 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 yeah, the rail just before you... Sure run your steam your live steam engine before really so that's what we've that's had the odd occasion where we've put the steam train on and some it's been on the track so we just do a, like a health and safety check just before <laughs> <laughs> yes make drawn, sure the so next door neighbor's cat is risk. not in the wrong place absolutely um, yeah yeah now the other thing that's i think quite unique uh with your garden railways we see many that have been deeply embedded into the landscape of the garden there's also a few people uh, who start like yourself with just a basic circuit that comes and goes as you want to operate. Your railway, uh, Glebe Valley, has a unique feature in my view in that 50% of it's permanent, but 50% of it comes and goes depending on whether you're having a running session or a normal yeah. garden. I think it's brilliant. How did you come up with the idea? Well, obviously, I didn't really want to have something permanently in the garden because it would upset the, the layout of the garden. So... Um... It's just a matter of how can I do this to get, to get a permanent loop range, really. Uh, so it was just a matter of coming up with the idea of, well, I can take some apart and put it, but when I'm going to use it and have a permanent loop and put it away. And then, um, so that's what I did, really. So, and that got round it. Not having a sort of a line going backwards and forwards, you have to go backwards and forwards, really. <laughs> it, it was really good watching him build it, though, because when I get him to build something in the house, it never comes together. <laughs> but when he built that railway, the day he built that, it was done, everything went perfect, and he called me out, and it was like, why? Yeah. But if I asked him to put a shelf up, <laughs> I'm still <Yeah>. waiting. <laughs> I, I can believe you. Don't tell me he's he's a builder by trade, is he? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but he did do a good job. I was impressed. So we've then got a layout. We've got the track, but then yeah. you start to put buildings and people in. Yeah, just to bring it back, bring it to life, really. Yeah. Um, and obviously that was what we were uh, trying to do, and, and and that was the the go once we started making it a little bit as the time goes on to get some buildings put in. And obviously last year when COVID was around. I just enjoyed, I enjoy building stuff anyway. So um, the kit builds of carriages and 
the houses yeah. and, and and that was what it was all about and so once you've done it one or two you oh, I enjoy doing this i'll do a few more <laughs> we, we did get on our our limit though with small town um because i kept wanting to get more buildings to keep um like well small town going but we didn't want to sort of overdo it because it yep. looks quite good as it was and we wanted a corner shop and and that and, rest, um, yeah. and then when mark built it down the other side we had a we had a problem with our hedge we had some ivy take the bottom of our edge out and i was quite upset because it's such a lovely hedge so anyway we we spent a day pulling the ivy out and then realized that we could actually get more houses under the <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was where new town then came in so what we've done then is under the hedge now is where more rail you built in more, more track, track in there. and then we've got another village coming up and is going under the hedge now so that's that's quite good it does look yeah, very very awesome. impressive and i understand it occasionally makes appearances on facebook <laughs> yeah. every <Yes>. day <laughs> <laughs> yes. I've, I've got a lot of followers and a lot of people um did have a go and pay uh, they donated to our local hospital if i'd done a cameo with them as a character in it so that oh, was wonderful good. that was good yeah. so i done poems about actual people and they they donated to our, my local hospital so that was quite good so oh that's brilliant so you so you're actually raising funds for a good cause as well as enjoying yourself yeah yeah, yeah it was um alex who's who's a big character in it now um he's a chimney sweep and he actually is a chimney sweep and he he said it first and i had a couple more that donated um so yeah so some money went to the the ruh which was good uh, where we live but um i mean there we've got so many people wanting to come and see it once um lockdown's over so i may even invite them and get a donation box so that i can donate money to the ruh from opening up and letting people come and see it so that would so be quite nice <laughs> that would be absolutely fantastic and it's brilliant yeah. if you can not only share your hobby but do a little something for the community in the process exactly. so that's yeah. brilliant yeah. Yeah. and i understand that whilst daytime running is possible you also do evening running you've got the buildings lit yeah. yeah some of them are lit up and they're they're not all um a lot of them are battery sort of lit up so you go around yeah. and <laughs> plug them in but yeah we, we've lit them all up in the evenings we've done an evening run and then um uh, the carriages didn't lit up yet but we asked for something i could do later on but yeah I mean, we've enjoyed doing that in the evenings in the summer yeah it was lovely last year yeah. it was really good yeah oh, i think that would be yeah. rather special um has it reached its limits is that as big as the glebe valley is going to get no, no, no. I, I, I'm hoping <laughs> I'm hoping to expand it. No, there's always you ask any garden railway guy, he's always going to say no, he's always expanding. And I like so I've got a slightly bigger front garden, and I'm sort of toying the idea of going out to the front garden a little bit and doing a loop round. He says, No, we can't go any bigger, and I said, Yes, we can. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're on side, Donna. Um, do you also think at that point you might expand the fleet as well? I might do yes. I'm hoping. I like to go. I like to go have a, a, a co-fire uh, steam engine. I like to. So oh, could. yes, that's sort of ambition to do that. Maybe. <laughs> so you've got Obviously. your eye on something, have you? I have got my eye on something, but then yeah, yes, <laughs> it's just, yes. Yeah, I think coal, fi coal firing is a whole different game. Exactly. By the yeah, same token, definitely. It smells better. You can yeah. tell the difference between the gas fire and a coal fire. And I think that when you just get that little waft of yes. um, steam and coal. smoke <laughs> and oil, smoke, yeah. <laughs> warm oil, it's just yeah, yeah. so redolent of, uh, you so, know. Yeah, well, a lot of people you see in here, they say how, how much different it is. So it's something that you, you know, that's got to be done really, but so we shall see. <laughs> What? I never say no to him because there's always something I may want. So as long as I say <laughs> yeah. yes. Oh, I had a feeling there was a shopping list of <laughs> yeah, 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 Marco's yeah. daughter. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You've had that. I need it. <laughs> Look, awesome. it's absolutely brilliant. It's a layout that doesn't take itself seriously from clearly owners who love it but don't take it yeah. seriously. I no. really do hope that with restrictions easing this summer, it will be possible for you to do. Uh, the open days for your local people do let me know when it's happening because i'm more, yeah. than, more than delighted to make the journey down i hope sure. the layout uh being featured in this month's garden rail will give you even bigger exposure and i hope it's not yeah. long before you're sneaking an extra loco or two around your front garden i'm sure i will do yeah. <laughs> mark donna it's been a real pleasure thank you so very very much
Thank, thank you. you and lovely thank you. to meet you. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye.